Hi. So I'm not sitting in that chair today. Hey. Thought I'd do a video of who is the kilted got. Give you some idea how I got to be this way. Uh, I used to be the usual goth, all dressed in black. Um, and I did see a, a friend online that was wearing a kilt all the time. And eventually I thought, yeah, that's where I want to be really, uh, in the kilt. So just to give you a little bit of an idea. So this, like it or not, is the kilted goth. It's not, I suppose, traditional uh, in the sense. Uh, this, this is probably smelling a bit of the old punk era. Uh, very much into kilts, that sort of thing. I find that when I'm in town, lots of older folks have a discussion between themselves. Hey, is he goth? Is he punk? No, it's goth. No, it's punk. No, I think you'll find it's goth. Then somewhere along the line they'll ask me, excuse me, I was having a discussion. What are you? But generally, people, 99% uh, out of 100, figure it out is a goth. It, it's, it's everything else that goes with it. Anyway, so yeah, it's colourful. I have a few different tartans and uh, it's nice to actually go out in a tartan. It, it does look a little bit more like a kilt than a skirt. But, <coughs> excuse me, I've also got uh, all black kilts. Um, when the weather gets a little bit nicer, uh, a little bit warmer, because they're a little bit lighter weight, I shall probably go on to the, uh, the all um, black kilt, then I really do look black. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm me, I'm an individual, do things my way. How did it come about, the kilted goth? Well, uh, <coughs> I think I also used the name before, Draven Raven. One word, Draven Raven. Everybody knows me as that. Um, and I used to think to myself, looking at all the, the subcultures within goth, where the heck do I fit in amongst that lot? Vampire, medieval, romantic, Victorian. And uh, I thought we used to have a bit of a laugh really and just say, actually, in a subculture of its own, the kilted goth. And really that's where it came from, just looking at that. And I became the kilted goth. So, Everybody knows me as that. Everybody sees me as that. So, yeah, this is more or less what I wear. I, I wear black t-shirts, sometimes with a, a design on, sometimes they're totally black. Um, I wear two pendants uh, all the time, night and day. One's a pentagram, one's a it's like three ravens in a whatever. And then every day I'll add a, a different one on as well. This one's a little uh, memory locket. You buy them and you can put baby's thirst too for whatever you want in it. Comes with a chain, but I'd change it for the leather lace. Um, this has got little tiny bones in it. Suits me a lot better. And I have it that way because this one, if I turn it that way, it's little diamond is all the way around it. But so it is that way. So that's that's it really. Um, what you see is what you get. I hang bits on like this is a a jawbone, a bit like Samson. Jawbone. Obviously, you've got to wear a sporran because otherwise, where the heck? you put anything. So this is very much like a women's handbag. 
because everything <laughs> everything you can get into it goes into it and that's a bit heavy hanging around on the front so really for for those that don't really know much about a kilt i'll give you a bit of a, a, an idea uh, how a kilt works i'll just take this off i just take this foreign off yeah oh, that's a bit of a relief really it's a bit like uh, the woman that says oh i can't wait to get home and take my bra off just slick stick that down there the kilt it's this kilt is eight yards so if i undid all the the pleats and pulled it out into one uh, length it would be i think six 26 feet eight yards 26 feet long and all that's wrapped into to this uh, it's pretty heavy because I don't use pure wool, very expensive, you're talking about very expensive kilts and I find that the bobble a lot when you got sporran every day, you get all little bobbles. So I don't use acrylic, that'd be too hot, too cheap. This is a polyvisco, it's really heavy duty stuff so if with the belt and everything, the chains, you hold it like that, it's flipping heavy kilt. Um, so it's in one long piece like that and I'm not going to take it off to show you but you, you hold it out like that behind you and this side you wrap it round and the strap comes through there buckle it up and it's there this bit then you wrap round and it's got two buckles there so that you see kilt pins I have this sort of thing well it's decorative it is a little bit of weight there so it holds your kilt down a little bit but a good wind won't take much notice of that but because it's a two layer you get that so if Women like they always do. Well, you get under your kilt. Is it true what they say about Scotsman? I've got that. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, that's more or less a kilt. Should be worn about mid knee. And the best way to test that is to put your kilt on, kneel on the floor, and if the end, the edge of your kilt touches the floor you spot on so yeah kilt t-shirts any t-shirt boots ah, just a minute boots demonia that's our state in England however you say it in America I don't know um, demonia boots uh, knee I I prefer that to, to the socks and that sort of thing looks a little bit more kick-ass and it does have looks a bit that being cheeky it does have uh, a blade in there which is really it's all solid plastic so it's a safety one the pleats at the back of this because it's twin it's 26 foot and if you want to say eight yards makes it very difficult for someone to come at the back and lift it up to have a look what's under your kilt because as soon as you lift it the sides fall in so there you go folks pretty safe that's what i wear this is the way i look i am the kilted goth as people know um would be nice to know who you are uh, even if you did a video at the beginning explaining a little bit about who you are and why that's probably a long time ago and people like me that's come along haven't seen it so how about a who is this person I'd be very happy to see those videos there you go folks the Kilted Goth
Nay. Uh, so, back into the usual chair with the usual backdrop. That was just a bit who I am. Uh, it's the end of the video now, but I just thought I'd like to say I'm going to put some links of uh, coffee type people down there in the description. I'll put the links to them. I'm not going to read all the names off because you'll find out who they are. But they're uh, goths that are very low subscribers that would be really nice to uh, click on them, subscribe and listen to what they've got to say. It's really good. And if I, I won't get everybody today, I'll just put a few, but I will add some more names at uh, later videos. So if you want to subscribe to me, go down there, hit the little word that begins with S, says subscribe, hit the little bell at the side so it turns black, and then all my rubbish will turn up on your page saying, hey. Okay, but have a look at those links down there and give them a shot, they deserve it. Okay, have fun, don't do anything I want, get yourself a kilt, I'd love to see that. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!